Hey everyone, it's Amethic Sneaks, and welcome back to my channel. Another speed build video for you all, but this is actually for my second collaboration this year. It is a collaboration with Alone Dear Sims, who is one of the people I've met in the Sims community via Twitter. So for our collaboration, I've built a house for the sims she created and let me tell you everyone, she makes gorgeous sims, especially the ones she created for this. Not to mention the background stories the characters have. Now this kind of collaboration is a first for me and I must admit, I was nervous because obviously I wanted to do a great job and I wanted to be able to create a home that is worthy of the characters alone Dear Sims created. And the background stories that she created for these characters really helped me shape their home. And that's why I absolutely loved furnishing the house because I try to incorporate as much of their traits into the build as best I can and I really hope I did and I really really love how it turned out so firstly a quick introduction of the characters that Alone Dear Sims created for this collaboration. The main character is Isabella Sofia Posa. Now, Isabella is a teenage girl who loves the idea of creating her own clothing line and to hopefully own a store someday. Her parents are Maria and Julio, who both love their daughter, but our character Isabella doesn't realize that they support her or her dreams and her father Julio is actually secretly saving money to purchase a small store for her someday and also Isabella hasn't openly come out to her parents nor has she told her best friend Millie that she's in love with her now, our character's traits are creative, quick learner, and a cat lover. She is currently in high school, but works part-time in a retail store. Her mom, Maria, is a teacher, and she's outgoing, proper, self-assured, and domestic. Julio is a regional manager and is a loner, but he's good, is family oriented and also domestic. Now let's finally talk about the build. So I chose a Spanish bungalow house for the Familia Posa in the world of Oasis Springs. Now the lot is 30 by 20 and originally it was called the Granada Place in the Skyward Palms area. And I've named their home, and you'll find this in the gallery as well as Casa de Familia Posa. Yes, I am still on Encanto High, and I have watched it a couple of times. And I've also been listening to the soundtrack. <laughs> Anyways, so Casa de Familia Posa has a lot value of 155000 761 simoleons and I have given it the lot traits of home studio, sunny aspect and natural light. Now the inspiration behind this house is of course courtesy of Pinterest. The house itself is mostly based on a Spanish bungalow renovation in LA in which the designer used Mediterranean inspiration from her travels and the playful pops of colors 
is inspired by another house in California, which is located in Venice Beach. And I will remember to link both of those sites in the description below. So Casa de Familia Posa has a mini entrance hallway, an open plan of the living and dining area, kitchen, an office area for Julio, one main bathroom, Isabella's room, the parents' master bedroom, which comes with an ensuite and a balcony, and a converted garage that acts as an outdoor entertainment area and Isabella's tiny creative space. Now, the kitchen, which you saw just before, is one of the areas of the house that I completely enjoyed furnishing. I love this flashback because the blue completely pops out against the white interior of the house and I also wanted it to be spacious because I'd like to think that Familia Posa also uses this as an entertainment area and I loved cluttering it. I imagine both Julio and Maria spend a lot of time in here cooking up a storm. I also love the contrast between the mini entrance hallway and the rest of the majority of the house. I love the dark grey stucco feature wall that you see first thing as you enter the house. Combine that with dark tiles for flooring and then again just those playful pops of colour that you get from the decorations. And I love how spacious the living and dining area is. Again, pops of colour from the couch and the decorations, but I wanted to keep it as minimal as I can in regards to the clutter. And as you saw before, I also made a custom bookshelf because for some reason I just wanted to think that the Familia Posa, one of the things that they love doing is reading. I just wanted lots of books in there and then I also wanted to give Julio an office space of his own especially as he is a regional manager and when I was furnishing it I could just imagine him working in here for hours sitting in front of the computer but then would be reminded by the stuffed knitted penguin which is made by Isabella in my head on the table at the front that he mustn't forget to relax and you know enjoy the company of his family. Now Isabella's room. This I loved furnishing her bedroom. So I've made a few teenage rooms before but let me tell you, it was not as detailed as this one. Again, it's all thanks to Alone Dear Sim's creation of Isabella and the storyline she gave her. So, of course, I went to Pinterest and searched up quotation marks teenage bedroom ideas. And two of those ideas I implemented in Isabella's room. So one of them is what you're currently seeing right now. Just different posters, different artworks. I imagine some of them are made by Isabella and others she bought. All stuck up on this blue feature wall at the head of her bed. And I actually used furniture and decoration from the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack, especially the tables. Because I think it works so well with Isabella being creative, especially when you use those tables in the white swatch. I just imagine that this is where she would store all of her sewing things, threads, needles, fabrics, and I think the fact that she can knit jumpers and socks and beanies in the game, so I just wanted to incorporate that to portray that at such a young age, Isabella has started creating clothes. 
And then the second idea I got from Pinterest is what you're about to see right now. So I wanted it again to have lots of different posters and artwork. I wanted her desk to look cluttered and messy, but she is the only one who knows where everything is. I've also given her a cat bed, a home for any of her future cats seen as she is a cat lover. You will also see the knitted cactus and llama, the knitted stuffed toys all around the house so it's not just in her bedroom because in my head I imagine Isabella obviously creating all of these and you know showing that to her parents or it could be a gift to her parents and obviously her parents keeping it in Julio's office space, in their bedroom, in the kitchen, in the living room, basically all around the house because they're proud of their daughter and they cherish anything that she makes for them and they're supportive of her dreams even though Isabella doesn't, you know, really realize it. So you'll see random pieces of Isabella's creation from the cactus, from the llama, to the decorative plates with the handprints and the painted flowers all around the house. Now we are going to be going over to the master bedroom shortly and the layout is somewhat similar to the actual house I based this on, especially the ensuite. So Julio is a regional manager and he's got his own space and I thought well how about the mom, Maria, she's a teacher. Now every time I make a sim who is a teacher, I always imagine them to be an archaeology professor. And I think it's because of the archaeology work table we get from the Jungle Adventure Game Pack. And I always like incorporating that because your sim is able to use it. You know, there's gameplay involved. So, in my head, Maria may be a professor of archaeology or the Salvadoradian culture and that's why I've put up books in the bookshelf on top of her, of her desk and for some reason I also think that she may be a literature professor. So um, one of the books that I've placed in that build, I'm pretty sure it's a poetry book. So just to represent um, her being maybe an English teacher, doesn't have to be a literature professor, she could be an English teacher. Um, so I gave Maria her own desk space in the room. And again, similar to Isabella, it's cluttered with things, but you know, Maria knows where everything is. So basically organized chaos for both mother and daughter. And I wanted it to be right next to the window. I wanted her to have that view of their backyard. Now, I've also given the parents their own balcony overlooking one of the lakes in Skyward Palms. I think it's just a nice way for them to treat themselves after a hard day's work. Um, just to be able to have somewhere to sit and enjoy the view. Enjoy the view, enjoy nature, and just chill and relax. Now, very shortly, you will see me building a converted garage. Now I wanted to build a converted garage and that is also based on the inspiration from Pinterest. 
so the actual house had the garage converted into a guest house but in my one I wanted to incorporate an entertainment area so I've placed the couch and two chairs in front of the garage imagining that the door would open up making the outdoor entertainment area extend from the garage to the dining table I've placed just in front of it and I like how it opens up to the backyard as well as the runway leading to the front yard of the house. Now to incorporate a lone deer sim story for these characters, towards the back of the garage I've set up a very tiny, very cramped creative space for Isabella. I made it really cluttered and I made it messy. I made it look like there's really not a lot of space for movement that you can do in that area. And to work that into the story, I'd like to think that her parents have seen her work endlessly in this cramped space. They always see her there designing and styling, and she doesn't realize it. Her parents see her, and they would think, our daughter deserves better. She deserves a space that is more spacious than what she has now. Our daughter is talented, and we can do more to support her. So that's where the storyline of her dad secretly saving money to purchase a small store for her someday fits into my build. And I absolutely love that story, how Maria and Julio are so supportive of their daughter. And I know that Alone Dear Sims has been playing with his family so I really hope that Isabella sees that from her parents because they absolutely adore her. So that is my build. I had so much fun building this home and thank you to Alone Dear Sims for doing this collaboration with me and for creating such wonderful storylines to the characters you've created. I would love to do more collabs with you in the future. You are a great storyteller and cast creator and that truly helped me build a home for them. And I hope that you like the house. <laughs> I will put a link down below of Alone to your Sims Twitter and YouTube channel so make sure to subscribe to her. And to everyone, we are nearing the end of the video. And as usual, I've got some screenshots of the house towards the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed the speed build. And if you do, please don't forget to like and comment. And of course, subscribe. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on to the next one. Goodbye.